Hello guys, it's Mashtag here. Only a few days after the first version of a gaming watch emulator for the RG350, the developer team released a new version of it. This time the emulator allows to take ROMs, so we are actually able to play any Game & Watch game, including the Nintendo classics such as Octopus, Parachute or Mickey Mouse and many more of it. The name of the emulator made it pretty obvious that the developers used the Game & Watch Lib Retro Core, it's the same as used in RetroArch, in their emulator. Also. This version is reduced to the essential functionality to play game and watch games compared to the previous version. I believe this version could also easily be included into front ends like emulation station. Now let's take a closer look to this version of the game and watch emulator and let me show you the pros and cons of it. Enjoy! Alright guys, so let's download the new Game & Watch emulator. Therefore I put you a link into the video description. It will take you directly to a Google Drive where you can simply download the file. Just click on download and wait until the download is complete. Uh, switch over to your download folder. And there you got the zip archive containing the emulator, just right click on it and extract it. So I'm going to extract it to a folder named like the zip file. And if you jump right into that folder, you will find the opk file, which is the emulator. Since this file um, contains some Chinese characters, I'm simply going to rename this. So let's change the name simply to gw minus libretro and save it. Okay, now that we've downloaded the emulator, um, let's connect to our RG350. I'm using WinSCP for this. I'm gonna connect to my RG350 and there, switch over to a folder called Media Data Apps and simply drag and drop that gw-libretro.opk file into the Media Data Apps folder. Okay, wait until the upload is complete. And yeah, now that's all. We've installed the emulator to our RG350. Now let's switch over and start the emulator. Okay, here we are on our RG350. Now use your shoulder buttons to navigate over to the emulator section right there. And then the D-pad to go all the way down until you find the game and watch icon. Um, don't get confused by the previous installation. If you have installed the previous version of this emulator, it's called Nintendo. We want to go all the way down until we find the GW minus libretro. Um, <laughs> Now that I've installed this emulator twice, um, it shows up twice here. So just simply get the GW minus libretto and start it. Now the first time you start this emulator, you have to choose your um, ROM directory. So the directory where you stored your game and watch games. And for me, I stored them on my external SD card. It is named RG350. So I navigate to my external SD card. There I have a folder called ROMs and that folder contains my game and watch folder where I have all my game and watch games in. And now let's simply start one of these games. Uh, let's go all the way down and find, let's say we're gonna play Mickey Mouse. Um, I prefer the widescreen version. So. Press A to confirm. So here we are in Mickey Mouse. Um, to start the game, simply press start and the game starts. So in this particular game, <clears throat> we have two sides. Mickey Mouse is collecting the X on the one side and on the other side. So for the left hand side, you're using the D-pad up and down to get the X from the down side or the up side. And on the right hand side, you collect the X from the hands 
by using the X button for the oh, <laughs> for the <clears throat> top X and the B button for the X that comes along the bottom. So now let's collect the X there and there. Okay, I missed one. Okay, I'm failing pretty hard here. Um, okay, I think you got an impression. Uh, let's jump back and try a different game. Okay, let's play Parachute. Okay, here we are in Parachute. Now let's start the game by pressing the Start button. And go and collect some of these guys that are flying down here. On this particular game, you just have to use the D-pad left and right to steer your boat and collect the guys that fall down from that helicopter. And save them from the sharks. All right. Okay. Compared to the previous um, emulator, now this emulator allows us to load different ROMs, as you can see. But most of the games just don't work for me. I tried out some of them, so the two I showed you, like Parachute and Mickey Mouse, these two are working fine. I tried out many more and most of them just don't start. So it starts the game, but when you press the start button, it actually doesn't start the game in the emulators. You just get stuck there and you can't push any, any further buttons to play the game. This is something I found out and this new version of the emulator just doesn't support the rumble function. So you don't get any feedback from the emulator if like it was in the version before. And this is what I meant. I started the game monkey and even though I press the start button, there's no chance to actually start the game. So nothing happens. Um, in addition, there is no way to rearrange the screen like it was possible in the previous version of this emulator. And there's no more functionality to set up the time of the, of the watch. And I mean, this is nothing we really need. I don't miss it. So let me give you guys uh, my feedback of this new version of uh, the Game & Watch emulator. Uh, honestly, I like that we can use ROMs now, but to be honest, um, it's not that much of a benefit because most of the ROMs just don't work. Um, let me give you an example. If you start Pirate, <clears throat> um, you can see even the screen is not arranged perfectly. We miss a part of the screen up here and therefore we have um, a gap down here that we don't really need. So it would be nice if we could shift the screen down a bit. Um, this is not possible anymore. It was possible in the previous emulator version. Um, now, if you like to play the game, we actually would hit the start button and the game would start, but it doesn't. So whatever button I press here, Nothing just happens, so this game just don't work. This is something I mentioned. The rumble function that was working before is not working anymore, so you don't get this vibration feedback from your RT350 anymore. So the most downside for this version of the emulator um, definitely is that it doesn't support all the games. I hope the developers will fix that soon and we get support for more games. The emulator now is more focused for the gameplay itself. So it doesn't it doesn't support the, to set up the watch anymore, which I don't miss. What I more see like a benefit because the setup of the time was just confusing. So one more thing that I just couldn't test, but many people out there mentioned uh, was that the previous version of the Game & Watch emulator was not running under custom firmware version 1.5. Um, I'm running on 1.7, so I just can't test it. I wonder if this version is running on 1.5 now. Let me know in the comments if you have 1.5 and you tested this emulator and 
it works for 1.5 that would really be interesting for many guys out there so that's it for today i hope you find this video helpful if you liked it give me a thumbs up for it and if you like to see more videos from me feel free to subscribe to my channel and we'll see each other in my next videos bye